Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. How's everybody doing today? So on this episode of the lab, we're gonna learn how to feed uh, Polyp Labs uh, go-to number one uh, coral food, Reef Roids. This is my favorite food, guys, for my corals. I've been using it for about five years now on all my other tanks, and it's a great product. Um, this tank here just runs on Polyp Lab products, Reef Roids. That's it. It's all it gets fed, and um, the corals are doing amazing. A lot of great color. With, uh, with the Reefroids, you're going to find your corals are really going to color up, that really nice colorization, good pigment to it, and they're going to split even more. They're going to grow twice as fast. It's awesome, guys. And so today, I'm going to show you two ways on uh, how to feed um, the Reefroids. There's two ways to do this. So we can mix it up in a cup, and we can broadcast it by pouring it into the tank. One of my favorite tools is uh, like a long looking uh, turkey baster. This is about three feet. You can really get into those uh, hard areas and spot feed them and you can watch those polyps take it right in. So to get started here, how does this all work? Well, first you're gonna take some tank water or some RO water. So let's go ahead and do that. So you just take some of your tank water, just like that. And then the reef roids that come in three different sizes. You got your nanos for 25 gallon, you got your regular sizes for 100 gallon and up. Then you got the big professional. This one's here like 300 gallon and up. So it works great. So we're gonna use a regular one today. So you're just gonna open it up. And plus the instructions and directions are right on the side as well. But you guys can see it's a beautiful orange color. Very, very, very fine particles. So the polyps will take in very easily. And that's what it's all about, guys. And coral foods, if it's really chunky, it's a lot harder for the corals to take in, the, in those small polyps. You're gonna take one teaspoon for every 100 gallons of water. So we're gonna take one, we'll level that right out. And then you're just gonna dump that right into your water, like so. And you'll just mix that up. It doesn't take, it's very effortless to mix. You can see it's got that beautiful uh, orange color. Just like that, so you guys can see. So we can go ahead about doing this two ways. We could we could broadcast right away, or we could spot feed. My favorite part of feeding reef roids is watching the reaction of the corals and their polyps, taking that right in. It's like symbiotic, you're feeding this animal. So part of the instructions as well, what you have to do is you have to turn off um, any circulation pumps. This way the coral has more of a chance uh, to take that uh, coral food in. So things have died down. So I just leave uh, my return pump going, a little bit of movement. It's good for the corals and their polyps to move around. So we can start here. So this is all mixed up. So I'm thinking first, well, let's get out the turkey baster. Let's do a little bit of spot feeding first, and then we'll just finish off with a broadcast. Reef roids, just feed it twice a week, and that's all you need. Like this tank here, I don't feed it any frozen foods to any of my acans, my meat corals, anything. They just feed off this reef roids and that's all they need. So let's go ahead, let's spot feed. Let's see if we can get some uh, nice reactions out of these corals. Got this meat coral. All right, so here's one of my favorite acans. So let's spot feed him as well. You can see how he's starting to move already. All right, so that's how easy it is to spot feed any corals in your tank. As you guys can see, that uh, the coral reaction with its polyps is awesome. So the last part here, just broadcasting. So you just have the ref your uh, leftover reef roids. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna broadcast into your tank. Just like that. 
and then now all the corals in that tank can feed on all the reefroids. It's so much easier, guys, with this food. It's awesome. It's amazing. You can just watch all those corals just feeding. That's my favorite part of uh, having all these corals is uh, trying to make them grow, get really beautiful colorization, and just by using reefroids, it's one step easier and uh, you can't beat that. In the next video that's coming up, I'm gonna show you how to use a polyp booster with reef roids at the same time. How it's even more beneficial because a polyp booster has a lot of great amino acids in there. They even help even more with colorization and help the coral take the food in even faster. So that's another great product that's coming up. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to use this one. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys uh, want to leave any comments below, I'm more than happy to answer them if you guys need any help. So please subscribe and hit the like button.